Hi right, folks, I'm going to try make a biggish vase now, try a different view. Ideally I'd want to be on that side, but people say, why can't you put your camera there? But So you can see your hands, but the trouble is, there's no room. So, see if we get a different view from this side. So I'm going to be using a... In fact, I better put my glasses on before I forget, otherwise I won't be able to see anything. Just using a six pound ball of clay now. Centre it, cone it up first. It's easy to centre when you do that and then force it down with a bigger piece of clay. That's about centred, let's get rid of some of that rubbish. So I'm just going to dive in, put it within about 10 millimetres, a centimetre of the base, what's that about, a third of an inch or so, and just flatten off the bottom. And then just give it a quick collar in. I'm going to use that side of this hand and these two fingers just to do a bit of a Big thick lift, not to get any height, just to get some of the thick stuff from the bottom. And again, I'm just going to want it to be reasonably narrow at the bottom, so I'll squeeze it in now and then collar it in again. I'm going to do a, a knuckle lift, which you won't be able to see because I'm on the wrong side, using that knuckle on the that side and two or three fingers on the inside of the pot and then just lift it. Once you get the hang of that, you can get a good old lump of clay up quickly. Right, slow my wheel right down as slow as I go because otherwise it'll be too fast. Just keeping it collared in all the time. Just narrowing it in a touch again. Try and get a little bit more height to it now, just do a final lift from the bottom. The lifting bit done. I'm just trying to do a bit of shaping now. Just in case it goes off at the top. Right, I'm just going to try and sort of shape it from the bottom upwards. Just squeeze it in a touch at the bottom, make it a little bit narrower. Now what I'm going to do from the from the uh, inside out is just widen it out slowly with my hand just by opening my hand up. I don't even need, need to use that hand. That's just there just to support it if it starts going a bit wobbly. It's really just on the inside I'm just sort of 
doing that against the walls with my hand, if you will, just to widen it. form the top and then I'll do the final bit of shaping. I'll just widen it out a bit now, get a bit of a higher shoulder on the on the body of it. I'm not too happy with the shape of the top now, I've flared it out too much, but never mind. I'm really not happy with the shape of that top doesn't look nice at all, never mind. Anyway, that's about it. Made a mess at the end doing the top. Don't know why I did it, but flared it out too much. Anyway, I don't know whether you've got any different sort of view from that angle, probably not. Like I say, the ideal side to do it, for me to do it on, is, the, is on my right hand side, but due to where my wheel's positioned, I've no room, so it's right next to a wall, so. Which is a bit of a pain. Anyway, that's just another vase. Not a very nice shape at all, but I'm sure somebody will buy it.